KUAM News, brought to you by GTA. We start with you, Subway and Chili's Grill and Bar. We feel there is an urgent need to get ready for not just Omicron, but the potential for another variant. The Physicians Advisory Group met last evening, and after a thorough discussion, uh, there was a unanimous decision to make sure that we get out to the public the need, the, the physician advisory groups feeling that there is an urgent need for Guam to get prepared for Omicron and whatever virus may come, virus variant may come after that. He says that's because no one is sure what the complete impact will be. People are getting sick, it's far more infectious, but if you're a healthy adult, it seems okay. The issue is, we don't have big enough studies yet to know that that is true. We don't have enough information to know if it's infecting children at a higher rate, but it seems to be. It seems to be that younger children are getting infected more. He says protection is available and they want the children to be as protected as much as possible. Right now, what we are feel from the Physicians Advisory Group is an urgent need for the Department of Education to make those in uh, vaccinations available to every parent that wants their kids vaccinated. And there's a unifying place where that takes place, and that's at the schools. There is no plan at this point to revert back to greater restrictions. If we don't get the children vaccinated and the adults fully protected with that third dose, uh, we may be singing a different story soon. It's not that I'm saying, uh, oh, I'm so frightened of this. What I'm saying is we have an opportunity right now to get really well prepared. That opportunity goes away as soon as a new variant is here and is, is running crazy through the community as did the Delta. You can't do it at that point. You then need to tighten up restrictions. If we get prepared, we can avoid that. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Leconto.